Have you ever used eBay as a platform to buy or sell something? I think yes. And if you say yes, you will be interested in learning more about Pierre Omidyar, founder of eBay, an immigrant who moved from Iran to France and then from France to the United States. To make this video and to share his success story with you and his business principles, I studied his businesses and personal biography to save you at least 5-6 hours of valuable time for reading and researching. It was a learning from him because Pierre Omidyar has paced his way to where he is now, a billionaire Forbes top list and one of the revolutionary cohorts of entrepreneurs who had changed the world we know today. His story inspired me a lot and I hope it will inspire you too. His success story can teach me and you how to start a business online and become a great entrepreneur. Let's go! We priced the shares at $18 and closed on their first day at about $47. It was more money than I could ever use in my life, said Pierre Omidyar on his first day of eBay IPO in 1998. He was one of the technology boomers of, uh, of the 1990s, one of the starters of where humanity is now as a Google, Amazon, PayPal, Apple and other AT wonders used. He immigrated to the United States with his mom and dad uh, when he was six years old. There was the beginning of the 1990s, a new era of computers and the internet, when he had to envision his future and choose computers for his future. At Tufts University and Berkeley University graded, he set at his laptop and began writing a new code that later revolutionized the e-commerce and internet sales markets. That was the beginning of eBay. Many years later, he explained the idea was simple, to help people give and get a real value of the things, teach them bargains and at least allow them to communicate and share thoughts about products. The first eBay deal uh, on a broken laser printer for $15 was the initial price of $1 was a real surprise. And veritable fortune, at least, Pierre said as he was so confident no one could buy a broken printer. But was it just a fortune or something else? Something worth of studying and making proper lessons to apply? Let's find the answer together in this video. Lesson number one. Omidyar's way of securing money and testing ideas. Pierre Omidyar had a full-time Apple Computer Corporate employee background when he co-founded his first startup, Inc. Development. The first experience was successful. Microsoft acquired this company. Pierre Omidyar got some money to start on his own and a taste of risk. Inc. Development proved there is a big future of e-commerce and internet sales, and he focused on this direction specifically. The result was eBay, a work-from-home startup, the hobby for weekends, or something like this. The idea of providing people with online auctions was brilliant, and it earned money for its development. First months, uh, extra bucks rapidly turned in hundreds of thousands of dollars and became a $1 million revenue in just one year. Pierre's personal internet account had to be changed uh, into business uh, only two months of the first eBay deal with a laser printer, as thousands of auction users could not be served with a personal account. What is the most crucial lesson in this part of the story? Well, Pierre started charging money for his service from the very, very beginning. That helped him understand his idea is worth paying money, so he would be able to find its buyers. The charge was small, but it did exist, and the auction users paid it happily. To be sure uh, the service was worth of paying, Pierre even launched something like a blog on eBay's site where he encouraged all users to share their eBay experience. It was a fantastic start of his uh, venture. He was happy to learn his service made positive feedback much more than negative, and that resulted in his inspiration not to stop with the idea. So lesson number one, you have to check whether clients are ready to pay for your idea. 
charge money for your service or product. To test it has the value, you will have its buyers and will be happily paid by them for some time. Testing your new product uh, free of charge is a good idea, but it will not answer to this question. Does this new product have a real value and buyers will buy it? By the way, if you want uh, my practical advice, uh, what, are, what are the best books I read regarding these topics, uh, like a customer development and lean startup, I can highly recommend two books. The first one, Four Steps to Epiphany by Steve Blank, and the second one, Lean Startup, The Lean Startup by Eric Rice. They are one of the best. Lesson number two, Omidyar way to team up people. Inspiration is much more effective than delegation, explained Omidyar his first employment experience. And when he offered his friend Jeffrey uh, Skoll to lead a million revenue eBay business, he narrowed down his strategy to the company's goal only, leaving Jeffrey the freedom to decide how she would approach it. Pierre would follow the same strategy when employing the first company CEO, Mac Whitman, in three years after he started eBay. He believed he shouldn't try to run uh, the company when a more experienced manager is recruited. Then hiring philosophy started by Pierre Omidyar is being applied until now and spreading to all job positions at eBay. Even for engineering jobs, impact, global, unlock opportunity are keywords uh, for a position description, for positions description. Should these words drive an engineer? Well, eBay thinks yes and refers to the inspiration to the primary skill of any employee to have a motivated, independent and uh, initiative team player. I made my research on the most used keywords in 10-15 eBay job descriptions and uh, I found there are 10 most used words uh, that I identified. L let me just uh, read it for you. For example, positive impact, innovative, development, challenging, new trends, future growth, new opportunities, work in a team, brightest and inspired people. So that's uh, kind of words I found on their website uh, when they describe their job positions. Let me quote Pierre Omidyar to explain his hiring principles and how he manages his teams. What people lack is equal opportunity. My goal has been to expand opportunity to as many people as possible so they can uh, reach their poten potential. That's the approach we took with eBay. Pierre Omidyar applies this principle to his business approach, charity, social activities, and employees uh, recruiting and management. He was able to turn his idealistic notion of how a perfect society would look into his real team at eBay. This ideal society approach helps eBay keep its management team devoted to the company's lifelong. Do you need more examples for me to trust me? Uh, eBay's current senior vice president, Alessandro Coppo, is in a team for 16 years. Angela Skubovic, eBay vice president, started working there eight or nine years ago. It looks like a fantastic fantastic in the era of geek works and uh, professional profiles with the positions switching every one, two years. Pierre Omidyar creates equal opportunities to grow and inspire instead of delegating to make his people stay with, this, with his years. You can do the same for your employees and your teams and companies. Lesson number three. The Pierre Omidyar approach builds new business models. eBay developed a simple yet highly effective business model, helping businesses to find buyers and sellers each other by providing them as a unified online platform. The provisioning service is not free. eBay charges a fee for it had and offers a safe payment transaction service, which is charged by a small amount. While bidding is free, the seller can buy the service of selling products uh, with bold uh, wants to stand out from competitors. The service is paid with an immediate insertion fee to provide additional promotions. Lastly, a final fee is attached at, uh, at the close of transaction, ranging between one, 
0.5 to 5% of the final sales price. When eBay bought PayPal and Craigslist, eBay grew into a global e-commerce uh, platform with around 200 million registered users and about $12 billion of annual revenue. By the early 200s, I realized what a profound social impact eBay was having as a part of its businesses. It had about 100 million users and it was teaching people that they could trust a stranger over the internet, at least trust him or her enough to make a transaction. It was providing people with new careers and livelihoods. This was a large-scale impact. That's Pierre Omidyar said in one of his interviews, and I completely agree with these words. If you are building a marketplace, you have to keep in mind some valuable lessons from eBay's success story. The first one, the first point that you have to keep in mind is a building trust eBay secured safe and confident payment transactions with later trust in PayPal brand application. It offered an open communication plan platform for its users and ensured constant and almost immediate feedback. The second point you have to remember if you are building marketplace is innovations. eBay's winning position on the market uh, would quickly turn into losing one. It could capture the latest changes and new applications in software. Competitors grow high and fast in IT sector, and uh, dismissing innovation is a proven failure. Just believe me. The third is a timing. Your business model or your marketplace should appear on time uh, on a specific market. For eBay, that was an ideal time to be first in bringing sellers and buyers online together and let them bargain on a price. For example, eBay is not a very well presented or eBay has an insignificant market share in many, many European markets where other local marketplaces were launched earlier. And the last conclusion, uh, if you are building a marketplace in some way, uh, please remember that the size of the market share of your market share and the pricing of your service really matters. Allowing your clients to pay small cost for services required subsidizing from eBay yet it resulted in the rapid growth of uh, transactions and deals, thus aggressively conquering, uh, conquering the e-commerce market and incredibly uh, uh, revenue growth. So if you want to go very fast, you need we see money to uh, support your growth and to subsidize, uh, to subsidize some kind of services you are providing. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you find something uh, interesting and valuable for your business. Please click the like button. Please consider to subscribe. I will appreciate it. And I will be making and shooting a new video for you. Thank you for your time and bye.